It is 614 and time now for What's Trending. A night in the great indoors. That's how restaurant and entertainment chain Dave & Buster's is plugging its summer promotional contest. The company is building an Air Airbnb inside its Miami location for a one night only event in July. The winning contestant and their friends will be treated to an overnight stay plus all the video games they can play. It includes airfare, a bartender, access to the whole menu, and full use of a game room. They're calling it they're calling the promotion DMB BMB. Contestants entered short videos explaining why they think summer is better in the great indoors, and the entry will be accepted through July 1st, but the company won't announce the winner until July 11th. And uh, great indoors, I know, um, I can see why, like being in mm -hmm. Miami, like they want, that's their indoor period because it's so hot and so mm -hmm. humid down there, like even more humid and hot than it was the last couple of days in this area, but I just, I like being outside, especially in the summertime. Yeah, me too. That's why I love living out here in the Northwoods because there's just so much to do outdoors. But yeah, speaking of humidity, I would not want to be in Orlando or uh, that type of area. I want to be up north area. this time of year. Like, exactly. I've always wondered what it was like down south mm -hmm. this time of year, but I don't want to go experience it because I'd rather be up here. But, you know, going to Dave & Buster's, yep. like, unlimited games, that sounds awesome. It does, especially in Miami. So, oh, wow, just a great vacation and definitely a spot to stop by for sure. Yeah. So, um, do, do you have a favorite game at uh, Dave & Buster's? Yes, the basketball. I'll be there half the day just playing basketball, okay. just tossing I used to up. be really good at skee-ball as a kid, like during uh, my Chuck E. Cheese days, but I, I don't know what happened with my luck, I guess. Chuck E. Cheese is another good that one, but good that's a throwback well. for sure. <laughs> but on to another story. Let's talk about dogs. So an abandoned dog in Colorado now has a new purpose in life, helping those who served our country. It is all because of the veterans who refused to ignore Bruno. Late one night, Air Force veteran Carl Anderson saw a dog dump Bruno off at the park across his house. So leaving Anderson in disbelief that someone would do that. So Bruno did not spend the night at the park and was sitting at the same spot the next morning. So Anderson was able to give a vehicle description and officers were able to track down the original owners and charge them with cruelty to animals. Anderson is currently fostering Bruno while he gets ready to join the nonprofit Victoria Service Dogs. The organization trains dogs to become service animals by pairing them with veterans who need one. So, so definitely something great to come by because there's a lot of veterans I know out there. Mm -hmm. I'm in the Army National Guard, so I, I know a lot of veterans that have been at war and mm -hmm. just went through a lot of stuff. So service dogs are really a great help. We even have one in our unit that someone walks around on the leash with it. Everyone, mm -hmm. whenever they're just feeling like it, they could just go up there and pet the little dog. So, so it's so. like a therapy dog? Yes, yep. It's like so you were just therapy. at um, like training or like a, what do you call it again? Uh, Army annual training. So a annual training. So uh, was that dog just like hanging around the uh, base unit? There? No, no. It, no, the dog didn't okay. come with us because unfortunately we were outside for the whole two weeks. So Okay. We wouldn't want the dog being out there with us, you know, dehydrating and stuff yeah, like that because it was really hot dog, and humid. It's great to see that a uh, guy just mm -hmm. give that dog a second chance on life. Yes. And I know it's tough on the dog to begin with, but, you know, good on him to give that dog a second chance. Mm -hmm. Lots of great people out there. For sure. Well, weather watchers were treated to a dazzling display with not one, not two, but three water spouts. Check it out. These twisting triplets were spotted off the coast of Mobile, Alabama, and this prompted the National Weather Service to issue a special marine warning for the coastal region. No damage was reported, though, so it ended up just being a trippy, triple twisting testament to the power of Mother Nature. And how about that? Like, you're just hanging out at the beach, and then... Um, you see the uh, water spouts out in the distance. Have you ever seen one before? I actually have not seen a water spout. Do you know the difference between a water spout and a tornado? Uh, one's on water and one's on land. So. Correct. So. Yeah, that's actually it. So, so right right when it comes from the water onto land, it's considered a tornado. So I've never actually seen a water spout. No. Right, have you ever seen a tornado, though? I've actually have, yeah. Before I uh, joined the Newswatch 12 team here, 
I actually, in school, when I was doing an internship two years ago with one of my buddies, he, he's a meteorologist major as well, we went tornado chasing one day and we found a, a, a tornado forming. We started recording. Ooh. It was my day to do the news out there as an intern. So I had my camera, it was like a $10,000 camera that I signed out from the school we were recording. It was just so much adrenaline, just so yeah. much fun out there. But luckily, no tornadoes out here today. 